Thank you for attending today's exhibition. Uh, we have a proud moment amongst us uh, to be able to witness uh, a great artist's work amongst us. So today, uh, as we start the grand opening of our exhibition, uh, a few housekeeping rules that I would like to share with you, please. Uh, first, uh, please take time uh, during the next few days to spread the word amongst your friends, relatives, neighbors, Muslims, non-Muslims, uh, to tell them about this great artist and this great exhibition, which will be housed here from today, May 29th to June the 7th. Today, we hope that you will take the time to walk around, see the expressions of art, take a few moments to look at what the artist has done in her shades of color and in the words of Allah, and do take some interest to buy the paintings because I am told her paintings do adorn many homes around the world. So the agenda for today is uh, I will call upon the representative of Mark uh, to share a few words and uh, invite our artist to the podium, Salva Rasul. And then we will have our president of ISIJ, Brother Shabir Girard, share a few words. And uh, that all will be wrapped up in about 20 minutes. And we will have an opportunity to hear from our artists too. When we first heard that we are going to be honored to uh, Salva come to Toronto and particularly to our center, we were so excited and we were thrilled. I met uh, Salva in, in Walji, met Salva in, uh, in Mumbai. Uh, about six months ago, and we've been planning this uh, for a long time now. Uh, the, we, she brought her paintings to New York, and we had to bring them here. We made, we made sure they were well insured. We wanted to make sure that we give her a good uh, reception here. And we are so delighted to see Salva here in Toronto, finally. So Salva, on behalf of Mark, the Mullah Asghar Memorial Library, it is my proud moment to welcome you. Thank you. Thank you, Shabiz and uh, Onali Pai, for all the kind words that you have said. Um, I would firstly like to thank Brother Hasnain Walji and all the members of MARC who have made it possible for me to exhibit my work at the center. 20 years ago, when I started doing this art, I never had an idea that I would be exhibiting my work in a country like Canada. Um. As I was talking to you, you know, some of the things I was telling you is that I find you a very humble human being. And I, I find that you speak a lot of words by not speaking. <laughs> so, you know, here when we see the gallery, we know that you're telling us a lot. But what I wanted to know is, you know, starting in a, in a city like Mumbai, uh, you know, uh, coming from a Muslim background, uh, doing some work like this, did you find that your work was appreciated uh, outside in the world and the message was easier to, to grow across continents? Or you were finding that in your own hometown you had an appreciation of what your art was all about? I have been doing this work since the past two decades, mm -hmm. but it was like I never seriously considered exhibiting my work in India is because it's predominantly a non-Muslim country and I thought that probably I'm not going to get you know, a good response over there. Mm -hmm. But it was my first solo show that I had in 2010, this was. Right. The 2012 was the second, second show, show that I had, yes. Yeah. And I got such an overwhelming response. And it was, my art didn't appeal only to the Muslims, but it was the non-Muslims who appreciated this art so much. And through my art, I had an opportunity of interacting with the non-Muslims. And so many of them, I had a chance to, you know, uh, to clear the misconceptions that they had about Islam. One thing I must uh, tell people is that uh, you've also showcased and exhibited your work amongst legendary artists like M.F. Hussein. So that is quite a platform to be on. And another thing I also read about you is that you were instrumental in doing the design, the window panes of the Jama Masjid. Right. So you yes. work with in, uh, interior designers, architects yes. all around the world. Yes. How does that feel? Uh, how do you take your art and, and join together with artists and you know, interior designers? Like, I think it's a blessing that I get this opportunity to do so. Mm -hmm. Like, I have never really <coughs> tried to, you know, get my way through, you know, getting my art. No, but it just happens that, you know, when people put up the works in their houses, mm -hmm. you know, it's just a publicity by itself and they get back to me. 
Is there a special message for our audience? <laughs> It's just for the youth, I would say, that they should pursue their passions and for the girls, like they should, you know, go ahead with whatever they would want to do. Excellent. Thank you very much. It yes. was a great uh, honor Thank you to so have much. you here and uh, you inspire us all. Thank you. And I must say that it's an honor to exhibit my work in Canada. And once again, I feel so thankful to the Jamaat for giving me this opportunity. Thank you so much. Bismillah rahman rahim my elders, brothers, sisters, our chief guest, uh, sisters, Salva Rasul. Uh, Salaamu Alaikum. I have been told this has to be a very short address, so I'll stick to my script. I'm absolutely delighted to be here this evening and to join you all in the opening of this unique and important art exhibition sponsored by Mark. I would like to welcome our chief guest, Sister Salva Rasul, and thank her on behalf of the ISIJ community for having ex accepted the invitation to bring her work here and sh to show it to our community in Toronto. At the same time, I would like to congratulate and thank the organizers of Mark Exhibition for pulling off yet another successful exhibition that I'm sure will be of great benefit to all. I wish you, Sister Salva Rasul, Best of luck. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings be with you all. I now declare the exhibition open. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yeah, that was another bismillah which I enjoy doing. That is done on linen. Uh, linen is a very difficult fabric to work on because uh, whatever is done on this fabric has to be a sure shot. You cannot rectify on this fabric in any way. I have created the calligraphy in my own style and the interesting part about this calligraphy is that the dots look as a part of the design but they are basically part of the calligraphy. And the splash that is given together on all the three, it, this is like a triptych, it's a set of three paintings and the splash that is given on the entire three paintings, you know, it, it shows a continuity on the painting too. Uh, this particular painting was an inspiration taken from a calligraphy by Al Kundusi, one of his Qurans, and I just love the script, but I presented it in my own style. The background is very contemporary, and the stripes that are used in the paintings show the modernity in the paintings, in the works. Uh, this particular painting is the Kufic style, Allah written in the Kufic style. So you can see the Alif, Lam, Lam, He. So a person who understands Arabic immediately relates it as Allah. But for those who don't know Arabic, for them it's a sheer abstract piece of art. Uh, this particular painting was, uh, like I kept in mind that it's, it's supposed to be like fillers. So you can place them horizontally, you can place them vertically, or you can go stepwise in any way, you know. So it, it just enhances small areas of walls. Uh, these two paintings are basically like the traditional script in Arabic, which is the Sul script. And uh, the design is very contemporary and modern. So it's basically a fusion of the modern work along with the traditional style of script. This particular painting is a triptych, a set of three pieces. So it's a Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, which can be placed vertical as well as horizontal. Either way that you place it, the design just follows. And uh, there is a lot of multiple layers of textures and vibrant colors that are used just to, to give it a good look. <laughs> 